Get ready for the next big war. What's up guys, we're back with the latest news. So as we know, smartphones are evolving. They've sort of hit their peak and well, Samsung is about to ignite the next big super cycle replacement, which is said to be the foldable smartphones. Samsung is without a doubt leading this game and it's time to get everyone on board. According to the recent report from October of this year, Samsung Display will start supplying foldable OLED panels to Google, Xiaomi, and Vivo. Furthermore, in early next year, Samsung will also be supplying its OLED display to Oppo and OnePlus. This means that we could see a swarm of foldable smartphones from multiple brands, possibly by the end of this year and in 2022. The report doesn't mention Apple, but the biggest Apple analyst aka Ming-Chi Ko recently said that it's decided that Samsung will be the exclusive foldable OLED supplier for Apple's upcoming foldable iPhone. In his report, he further mentioned that Apple is aiming big, bigger than Samsung has ever aimed, they're aiming to launch about 15 to 20 million foldable iPhone units in 2023, a number that is far bigger than Samsung's 7 million units that they have allegedly planned for this year's Fold 3 and Z Flip 3 combined. Apple is also expected to use the nano wire solution to its flexible OLED screen, which is said to be superior to Samsung's Y Octa solution when it comes to long-term usage is concerned. ming Shiko further says that Apple could be the biggest winner of foldable smartphone war because of the insane software and hardware plus third-party app optimization control they have. The third-party app issues still persist even after two generations of Samsung's foldable smartphone. So this control of software and hardware will give Apple a big boost. I can't wait to see what all these other brands will bring to the table with their foldable smartphones and uh, yeah, it's going to be the next big war. Also in the news, Samsung has made a major announcement that they will be announcing a brand new 50 megabyte pixel isocell sensor that is marketed as isocell for everyone this sensor is said to have 0.7 micrometer pixel size and is said to rely on the latest software technologies from samsung such as the dual pixel pro technology as well as isocell pro for that improved low light performance judging from the marketing tagline it's definitely going to be provided to a lot of other smartphone manufacturers and some people are expecting that this might be the sensor that we could see on the pixel 6 pro previous leaks have said that google has used the imx 800 sensor for their PVT units, but it might also be this new smartphone sensor that Samsung is about to announce. So either way, Pixel 6 Pro is getting a huge camera hardware jump thanks to either Sony or Samsung. So that's all the latest news. The traditional smartphone is about to transform. Apple is aiming big and soon enough, Samsung will face the toughest competition. But for now, they're going to move the industry and provide their OLED panels to other smartphone brands. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.